It is unbelievable how lies that are told by the social justice left just become quote unquote fact. They're laundered as fact through our fact checking apparatus and through our media and no one seems to care. The way you find out if something is fake news is you look at it, and if the moment you read it, you think, oh, I agree with everything this says. Yeah. It's probably fake news, and you just got your buttons pushed. Hey, you guys, I just wanted to show you this here real quick. I'm doing a, a conservative video here about false fact-checking that's been done against conservatives and against the right and so i went to youtube look at this and i just searched today is uh february the 11th 2022 and i searched false fact check because you can see up here i have a video here from uh, michael knowles called snopes hilarious fact checking fact check fail so i wanted to find a little more a few more videos on this looking for conservatives addressing false fact checking Here's what I got. Look at this. Top results. Washington Post, LA Times, Washington Post, Washington Post. Now this news, fact-checking Trump. By the way, all that's about Trump. Washington Post, N NBC, CNN, Connecticut Public. Oh, here's one. Fox 13 in Utah. Nope, this is from a year ago. And this was about people that were saying that COVID-19 doesn't exist and how uh, Facebook has to do more to censor that. MSNBC, CNN, CNN, uh, full for Samantha B. Uh, what's that? Is that PBS? Yeah. Uh, Washington Post, Washington Post, uh, WUSA 9, Washington Post. By the way, this is about Joe Rogan stuff. CNN, CNN, uh, Netflix, CNN, CNBC, Washington Post, VOA, NBC, The Hill, MSNBC, DW News, VOA, I uh, don't know anything about John Campbell. We still haven't gotten to one conservative group yet. Washington Post, Ted. Uh, Washington Post. Oh, here we go. Fox News fact-checking Joe Biden's press conference 10 months ago. Nothing about anything current. And that's the first one. VOA, Vox, CBS, uh, WFMY, uh, Washington Post, VOA, Metro, uh, whatever that is, CNN. Now this. Uh, talking here about Google, Radio Free, uh, MSNBC, VOA, MSNBC, NBC, Netflix, Vanity Fair. Here's that doctor idiot again. CNN, ABC TV, Washington Post, MSNBC, MSNBC. I still have not gotten to a significant, relevant, current, conservative uh, fact check claim. NBC, everyone's fact checking Donald Trump. Nothing about Trump except the one Fox that was buried, Media Smart, here we go, Dr. Mike, BBC, CBS, Washington Post, none of these things, more CNN, none of these things, no private people talking about it, no conservative sides, here's more MSNBC, ABC, this is crazy, CNN, this is crazy, I still haven't gotten anything, NBC, Vanity Fair, CNN, Still nothing. Washington Post. Boom. Now we get down to Fox News. Who checks the fact checkers? That's the first point that came to a conservative one. Crazy. But really, the people guilty of spreading misinformation are Facebook and its fact checkers. To do the fact checking, Facebook partners with groups like these, all of them approved by something called the Pointer Institute. It calls itself a global leader in journalism and claims it has a commitment to nonpartisanship and fairness. But they're hardly nonpartisan. Just look at their website, their eagerness to honor left leaning reporters and their push to decolonize the media and change language shows their leftist bias. Pointer once even apologized after it tried to blacklist conservative news sites. Yet absurdly, this is who Facebook partners with to certify who will censor all of us. One so-called fact checker pointer approved is this group, Science Feedback, run by this man who says his censors will cleanse the internet. The most incredible thing about this whole crackhead episode is how desperately all of the different facets of the political establishment, by which I'm, I'm including the media, I'm including big tech here, obviously the government, how they're all working together to try to tamp down this story. 
the establishment is going into overdrive to, to try to tamp this down. Notably, the fact-checking website, Snopes. Fact-checking is, it's not actually fact-checking. It's just a way that the left rebranded leftist opinion columns maybe 10 or 11 years ago to try to make them absolutely incontrovertible. So it would, have, it would just be regular left-wing opinion columns, but they'd say, this is a fact check. Fact check. Republicans are wrong about everything. Ten Pinocchios. Facts, right? What will they do about it? Well, Facebook had to deal with accusations of spreading fake news during the run-up to the election, so it outsourced its fact checking to a group of so-called objective fact checking sources. Snopes, PolitiFact, ABC News, and factcheck.org. Never mind that all of them have shown a penchant for liberal bias themselves. And as the Daily Caller has pointed out, Snopes, which many people see as the gold standard in objectivity, runs a political fact check division that employs almost exclusively left wing writers. Here's one of their writers whose Twitter handle is Debunker. Look at that tweet. Oh, we're going to have to fact check that and get back to you. <laughs> We shouldn't be worrying about so-called fake news. We should worry about so-called fact-checking. Leave my news feed alone. Let's, let news organizations and websites stand or fall on their own reputations. I can decide who to trust. What? Looking at Facebook, I was shocked to see this big notice on my page. Missing context. It's posted on my video that calls California's fires government-fueled. Even if what is fact-checked is quote-unquote missing context, they will just downgrade the distribution of that material. Now, missing context is a designation that fact-checkers, left-wing fact-checkers, frequently use in order to ding conservative content that is not untrue. So we print a true story, and then PolitiFact says missing context, by which they mean that what we said is true. They just don't like that what we said is true. And then Facebook downgrades our content. And meanwhile, the fact-checkers let complete lies just go completely just utterly unquestioned in the mainstream media, which again plays back into the Facebook metrics. Okay, Facebook gives credit to quote unquote widely trusted sources. Well, what, what makes a source widely trusted? What makes a source widely trusted is that it isn't fact checked. That's what makes a source widely trusted. So legacy media have basically re enshrined their own monopoly on dissemination of information via the big social media companies like Facebook. Snopes adjudicates the claim. The claim is in early 2022, the Biden administration endeavored to advance racial equity by distributing crack pipes to users. Mostly false, Snopes says. Okay, well, what's true? What's false? Snopes says, what's true? In 2022, a U.S. Department of Health and Human Services substance abuse harm reduction grant did require participants to provide safer smoking kits to existing drug users. In distributing the grants, priority would be given to applicants serving historically underserved communities. What's false is this was just one of a, around 20 components of the grant program and far from its most prominent or important one, despite being the primary focus of outraged news reports. Hold on. So you're telling me it's true. It's true that Biden was sending crack pipes to people, but, but Biden was also doing other things. So therefore it's not true that, but you just said it's true that he did that. that we're not saying he didn't do, ever do any other things. Why did Facebook penalize me? I click the button that says, see why. It goes to a page from a group called Climate Feedback that writes about climate change and claims to sort fact from fiction. Facebook gives this little group power to cut me off? Yeah, Climate Feedback posted this statement in quotes, as if it's something I said, and calls that statement misleading, saying it misrepresents a complex reality. Well, it does. But I never said that. I actually said, Climate change has made things worse. California's warmed three degrees over 50 years. Facebook's letting activists restrict my views based on things I never said. 